this is Evan Pantaza. Today we're going to cover the, um, the fascia. Okay, and this is a deeper anatomical structure, and it's exactly what acupuncture and pressure points do. The fascia is where the pressure points lay. So when you're doing acupuncture, you're not attacking or uh, piercing the uh, nerves or the blood vessels like real Kyushu does. You're working with the fascia. It's the connective tissue of the muscles and the organs in the body. So let's take a look first at um, the, the fascia. All right, you have the skin level, then you have the superficial fascia, and then you have the deeper fascia. Uh, then you get down into the nerve, blood vessels, and the muscle uh, cells themselves. So let's take a, a deeper look here. Uh, when you get down to the muscle uh, uh, fibers, this is the deep fascia right in through here, as is all this marbling that looks sort of like fat tissue but isn't. And it surrounds each set of muscle fibers. I mean, you can take it down very deep here. Now, when an acupuncturist sticks a needle in, you're going to pierce the skin and you pierce also the, um, the superficial fascia. And then you bounce off the deeper fascia. The deeper fascia is tighter. Let's take a look at it again. This is a tighter structure than is this looser fascia. So your needle will penetrate easily through the skin. It'll penetrate through the um, superficial fascia. And then it sort of bounces or has a tension or a resistance at this tighter la layer of the deep fascia. <clears throat> and that's why the acupuncturist can stick the needle in, feel around until they feel this, this tightening or this resistance against the needle and get to work on the fascia themselves, the intermesh of the fascia, without um, sticking into the muscle fibers or nerves or blood vessels. So again, <clears throat> this, this tight layer of the deep fascia is what's protecting um, the vital organs and structures. And we can see here, um, you have the deep fascia uh, that's surrounding all these muscle fibers, and it's also causing um, a protection to the nerve and the blood vessels. You've got the veins and the arteries. So that's where um, the depth is. Sorry about that, folks. Um, the depth of these structures are. So when you stick your needle in past the superficial fascia up here, the skin, the superficial fascia, you bounce it off this deep fascia. So let's go in a little um, tighter now. <clears throat> we can see that the fascia runs in bands, okay, and they interconnect throughout the body. This is just one ex uh, specific example here. Uh, we take a look at the fascia here, and it mimics the bladder meridian running all the way down the leg, right to the side of the heel of bladder 60, and coming right up here to the bladder 10s and going on too, because it goes all the way through um, all layers of the body uh, underneath the skin. So it's, it would even be up underneath the scalp in here. So that's what a, um, an acupuncturist is working on, these fascial layers, not again the deeper layers. So let's take a look um, at a common injury to the fascia. It's called plantar fasciitis. Now, uh, it's an overstretching or a, a strain on this fascia that connects the heel to the, um, the, the, the other bones in the muscles of the foot. Now, when the foot is um, strained or that, that fascia is strained, it's because of this exact foot position that pulls too t tightly and injures it. Now, consequently, they tell you to, when you're healing this, to further stretch your, your heel and your ankle to stretch this, this fascia. And um, what that is is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. You should be pointing your toes, stretching the top part of your foot and shin so these relax to take the strain off it. You can sit on your, your uh, in a kneeling position like Cesar with your toes pointed and that cures that plantar fasciitis um, over time. It's going to, if you Got it. It's going to take a little while to heal it. It's not an overnight thing, but don't do the exercises where you flex your foot back like this. Uh, again, if you point your toes sitting in Seiza, um, you'll uh, take the pressure off this and relieve that pain. Now let's go into um, Ohan Sokin's notes, um, uh, just because it's a good example, and I got it here on kusho.com. Uh, there's a ton of information on this website. You should really investigate it fully. 
So um, when you're working with the, the real Q show, um, it has uh, fainting uh, because of nervous disorder to the brain nerves and spinal cord, not the fascia. Uh, you don't stick an acupuncture needle into the brain nerves or the spinal cord. You, you hurt the person. Okay, You don't um, stick it into a blood vessel either because the person would bleed. If you stuck it into a regular nerve, a superficial nerve, like say the radial nerve on your arm, you'd be screaming. That's not what the acupuncture is. That's not what the pressure points are. Okay, you have um, stimulation of the brain nerves, again, fatal, because a severe change of the blood circulation causing uh, hypervolatic uh, shock. Okay, this is what um, the real Q show is all about. Now, this isn't just in Ohan Sokin's notes. It's in Fujita's notes. It's in um, many other uh, master's uh, notes uh, from Mabuni to Funakoshi. Um, again, just recently, let's go back out to, um, uh, let's go back out to uh, find the Mabuni, not Mabuni, um, Let's find uh, Ohan's soak. Not Ohan's. I keep uh, screwing up. Sorry, folks. Let's get to where um, I, I placed it with uh, Funakoshi. Um, I don't even remember where I put it. Sorry, folks. But the, the notes of Funakoshi were um, almost exactly like the notes of Ohan Sokin here, where uh, these were the descriptions of the um, targets and what happens, uh, severe shock of the liver and nervous organs of both organs that have been lost. I mean, this is an acupuncture, okay? Again, the acupuncture goes into the uh, skin, the superficial fascia, bounces off the, 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 the uh, deeper fascia here and doesn't really puncture the real targets that the old masters documented and what the bubishi is all about. Uh, bubishi more blood than nerve um, and the uh, notes of Soken and Funakoshi and uh, many others like Fujita um, all go into the nerves and the blood vessels, the organs. Uh, so again, um, the fascia is exactly what um, the pressure points are. Okay, so if you're training with pressure points, yeah, you're hitting the, the fascia. You can cause a tightening of the fascia, some uh, a little bit of um, paralysis if you over tighten them with blunt trauma. Um, but it's uh, it's again not the the targets. So. I hope you can uh, understand why we're going over trying to get you away from the pressure points and more into the real anatomical structures of the body so you have a better ability to um, learn and develop a skill of the Q-show rather than the acupuncture, which is the false paradigm of Q-show. Okay, uh, it's designed, uh, the acupuncture is designed to produce relaxing uh, even though it can re, uh, overstimulate and overrelax, and the, and the leg can collapse or something of this nature, but that's where the pressure points are. So the more you work with pressure points, the um, harder it is for you to learn uh, the high level of skill of Q show. So I urge you to seek out an instructor and a program that doesn't uh, rely on the the, uh, the false paradigm of the pressure points. Uh, for your Q show and gets you into a real anatomical study. That's the important part. Throw away your pressure point books and your acupuncture books and get more uh, uh, of an anatomy book like Clemente or um, Anders. They show you a uh, really nice design. Or even go here to the, um, uh, let's go to my account here for a second, <coughs> excuse me, and go into the charts. Um, the anatomical Q show charts. Okay, because these are what uh, are going to show you um, where the uh, the nerve structures are. Okay, you can peel the the skin back. Okay, you can uh, pull away the muscle, and you can see the exposed nerves. These are the real targets of the Q show. Now, from here, it, with the skin, you'd puncture the skin with an acupuncture needle. And you would stop before you got to that muscle because what's happening is underneath the skin here, let's bring up the skin just a little bit more. You can see this little buffer zone here. That'll be the, um, the, the fat tissues and also the fascia. 
and that's where you're going to be right in through here before it gets to that deep fascia that surrounds the the muscles and then you if you stop there you don't even get to the nerves now this is <coughs> again just to point out that it's not the pressure points because a, a acupuncturist would never stick the needle in deep enough to hit that nerve you wouldn't like it um, you'd be screaming and it's not very therapeutic so again your your real uh, your real uh, structures of acupressure acupuncture or the fascia the real structures of the um, uh, Q-show is the nerves and the blood vessels. Uh, and that's depicted in the Bubishi. It's depicted in all the notes of the old masters. And it's also in your anatomy books. So I hope this helps you in your study. And I hope it, it brings you to a deeper understanding of what Q-show is and what Q-show really isn't and what acupuncture is and what acupuncture isn't. Now, um, on this post also, um, oh, let's go and view the post again. Uh, I put in two great resources. One is a PDF here that um, you can download and you'll get into the um, fascia, the mediating system of acupuncture. Um, or if we go back here, we get transferred to another page uh, so you can read a lot more about the um, the acupuncture and the fascia and what it is and what it isn't. And you can see it great explanations and details. Uh, so you really get uh, the, the lowdown on what uh, Q-Show isn't and what acupuncture is. So I hope you can differentiate. I hope you find a good instructor that is not teaching you pressure points in the uh, acupuncture theories or the TCM theories. And they are teaching you real anatomy, real structure, real functionality, and real physiology of the human body. Thanks for listening.